Hello, and welcome to i3 Robotics. I'm here with another Tinkercad circuit, that is visitor counter using ultrasonic sensor and Arduino. So let's rename our project. If you click on the top, you can see I'm already inside the Tinkercad. So once you log into it and you click on new circuit, you will get this window. So here on the top left, uh, if you click on that, so we can rename it. And that's I'm going to write a uh, visitor counter. So this visitor counter will count the number of people who is going to enter uh, and going to exit the hall. Imagine you have a big hall like shopping malls or, or any such hall having two doors, one uh, through which the people can enter the hall and one uh, that people use just to exit the hall. So the, this system can count the number of people, how many have entered and, and how many gone outside and total how many people are inside. So basically I'll be uh, making the project which will count how many people are there inside the hall. We can make it with ultrasonic sensor and Arduino. So the, the uh, let, let's drag the ultras, uh, Arduino first. So I'm going to drag Arduino. You can see uh, I got it. Yeah. And now I'll be using two, Ar two ultrasonic sensor one which can count uh, the or which can uh, count up whenever people will enter through the uh, uh, you know uh, entry gate it will count up and one uh, which will count down whenever the people will go outside the room so always it will calculate the total number of people inside the hall and it will give me the reading so here i i need two ultrasonic sensor one in the right hand side and one i will get to the left hand side as i mentioned in the before video you can use any one of the ultrasonic sensor that is given in the tinker card either four pin or three pin so this is four pins ultrasonic sensor hcsr04 and the three pin ultrasonic sensor can also be programmed here so uh, we have brought the components and now is the time to connect them out connecting them is as simple as uh, you know having bread and burger that's very simple connect the power to the 5 volt so like all both ultrasonic sensors power pin I'm going to connect to uh, the 5 volt if you apply more than 5 volt to ultrasonic sensor in simulator of course it's not possible that you apply more than 5 volt or even uh, you know, there will be no damage if your circuit goes wrong but in real case, uh, in real hardware, whenever you implement, if you give more than 5 volt, uh, you may fry the sensor. So ensure that you don't provide more than 5 volt to ultrasonic sensor. And next is ground. Ground, we are going to connect to the ground. We do have many ground pins. You're free to connect to any one of the ground pin. So the grounds of both the ultrasonic sensors, I'm going to connect to ground. That's done. But now control pins are left control pins like uh, trigger pin and echo pin so through trigger pin you can uh, generate the ultrasonic sound using the sensor so whenever Arduino will send signal to the sensor through this trigger pin the sensor will pre the sensor will produce ultrasonic sound so let's connect this I'm going to connect uh, you know the trig pin of sensor right hand side sensor to pin number six let's change the color of uh, you know orange you can choose any color there is nothing uh, you know wrong about the color that's completely of your choice and then let it be green so we have connected trig pin and echo pin of right hand side sensor to pin number six and five respectively likewise let's connect the trig pin of the left hand side sensor and i'm going to connect this to pin number 11 and uh, you can change color as well if you want it and then trig pin of second sensor, I will connect to pin number, uh, you know, 10. That's done. Boom. We got it. You can change the color to yellow if you wish so. So our connection is done. We have connected two ultrasonic sensor. So uh, being a programmer, being a developer, you must keep in mind that right hand side sensor is supposed to count the people, uh, you know, you will implement, you will attach this on the entry gate. So whenever it will detect a person, it will count up as well as 
whenever through the people is going outside through the exit gate, uh, you know, uh, this sensor will be uh, attached in the exit gate and will be installed at the exit gate. So whenever people is going out, this sensor will count down. So this is how we need to uh, remember as being a programmer. So that's good. Now let's go to the code section. So you might have question, he will count it, but how he will tell me how many people are inside. So for that, uh, you can have other options, but for timing, I'm showing you how you can display that number of people inside the hall in the serial monitor. So in the serial monitor, we have options to display the output, and even you can write, you can give input through this uh, window as well. So now there is a, a code written before. Let me delete that. This is not needed at all in this project. And I'm going to write the project uh, from scratch. So first thing first, I need a, a comment block. So being a good programmer, we must add comment. Everywhere in the code, you can add can a comment block. I'm writing on the top. I'll write code for a visitor counter. So this is code for visitor counter that's done. And now what we are going to do first is I'm going to uh, create a variable first. So because whenever he's going to count the person, he will store that value in a variable. So let me count, uh, let me create a variable called count. You can name a variable, whatever you want. So for timing, I'm going to give the name count. And first, I'm going to set the count to zero. It's already set to zero. You can initialize to any value if you want it. And the next, what I'm going to do, do is, uh, first I will give condition to count up. So I will say that uh, if there is a if condition that you need to drag, and I will say that if the distance is less than 50 or 30, according to that, uh, what's the sensitivity, sensitivity you want, so what will I do uh, to give condition? I will drag a if and else block here. So sorry, to condition math block. Here we can give condition. And I will say that you always read ultrasonic sensor, okay? So read ultrasonic sensor. And how fast it's gonna read? It's gonna read very fast. Uh, I think uh, if you have a uh, little experience with Arduino, it's clock frequency is 16 megahertz. So it's, it will read very fast, okay? So I will say that keep reading the pin, okay? So first you read the right pin, uh, ultrasonic sensor, right hand side ultrasonic sensor, and those pins are connected to, you can see pin number seven and six. Pin number seven, that is trig pin. So, sorry, pin number six, that is trig pin. So I will say that I have connected ultrasonic sensor. The trig pin is pin number six and echo pin is pin number five. I have connected one sensor here. Keep reading the pin. And whenever the distance is <coughs> less than, uh, you can less than, uh, you can write 100. If the distance is less than 100 centimeter, then what do you do? You count up. So how is going to count up? To count up, we will go to variable and I will set the variable here and I will go to math block. I will drag one addition block and with, uh, what will I say? That whatever is there in the count value, in count variable, you count add one to it. So it will become one. Imagine when there is no people inside, when first person arrives at the entry gate and he enters the room, sensor detects the distance less than 100, then it will count one. And then we will display that also. We can display that also in the in the monitor, serial monitor. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to print that value. So I will write serial monitor print uh, number of people inside. So you can write number of people inside hall. So I'm writing slash and then a little space with a, with the a new line. Uh, sorry, you can write without new line. So next. Uh, just after this, I'm going to print another value. That is the number of people, how many people are inside. So this time I'm going to print the value, whatever is there in the variable count. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read the distance. If it is less than 100, it will count one. It will add one in the variable and same I'm going to display. I'm going to display a text and a variable. That's done. Same thing, I'm going to copy it. I'll duplicate and I'll paste it below. And this time, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to give another condition that you read those pins. Uh, the pin for the left-hand side ultrasonic sensor, that is string pin is connected to pin number 11 and 10. 
So the trig pin, pin number 11. I'm going to say it again that I have connected one more ultrasonic sensor to the left hand side in pin number 11 and pin number 10. So what do you do? You keep reading those also. So one by one you read. First you read pin number 10, uh, you know, the right hand, the left hand and measure the distance in centimeter. And whenever you see the distance is less than 100 centimeter, you count down this time. You count down so that uh, we, you have, a, I have I installed you in the right hand, left hand side, uh, means at the exit gate. So whenever people go outside, you count down. That's done. And next is, we are going to print the number of people inside hall count this much one, this only, because whatever will be the value, it will subtract one so that we can get the new updated value that will give you the total number of people inside the hall. And what you can do at the last, you can give a delay, you can give a wait, you can tell them to wait for one second so that, uh, you know, uh, for the smooth uh, kind of functioning. Or you can give 0 0.5 second is if you wish. So the timing, how smooth and how sensitive you want your project to be. That's fantastic. We did it. And now it's the time to simulate our project. Let me show you uh, how your project is going to work. So here we are. And I'm going to show your project really uh, how does it work. So I do have a circuit left hand side and a monitor in right hand side. I'm going to start simulator. And you can see... First, uh, there, uh, if I click on the right-hand side sensor, uh, yeah, if I click on right-hand side sensor, the distance is 138. And you can see at this time, there is nothing in the serial monitor. But suppose when people enters with a distance less than 100, it's going to count one. So you can see very nice message I got, number of people inside hall, one. Suppose another people has entered the gate yeah so this time number of people inside hall two third time one more people has entered the hall so number of people three that's fantastic but what happened if the people wanted to go outside and if he has done his work and now he is going outside the hall so this time he's supposed to count down let me see so this is counting down so now one has decreased and now when one people has gone outside, the number of people inside the hall is only two. So uh, let's, let me see the next time if it's going outside, number of people inside is one. That's mind blowing. Fantastic. We did it. We can implement this code further and uh, lots of uh, variation and changes can be made. I hope it was helpful. Thank you and see you again in the next tutorial.